Hi everyone, welcome to a new vlog. Um, as I shared in last week's video, I separated the office makeover to the vlog this week. So this is the vlog that was filmed on the same week that I made over my office. I really hope you enjoy it and yeah, let's get into it. And before we get started, my earrings are restocked. So if you're interested in being, wanting to get them, um, feel free to check the link down below in the description. We had this amazing dinner of lettuce wraps, well, cabbage wraps with, <laughs> actually a lot of cabbage. Cabbage wraps with black lentils that we put in side along with some red cabbage and carrot slaw um some homemade kimchi some peanut miso tempeh and some thai basil leaves and it was delicious it was such a lovely fresh dinner with a bunch of leftovers that we had and it just was so yummy um, and then we just went for a walk with Tiki. I jumped in the lake and then I did an hour yoga, live yoga class on the open platform that I talked about a couple of vlogs ago. Yeah, and now I'm just gonna sit down here or maybe on the balcony and I'm gonna read Sapiens. I've just started reading this as my new book. Tiki, do you want to say hi? Oh no, you want to go see Ross? Well, bye. The vlog will meet you another day. I just went to the lake and did some practices, some yoga, like just more like stretching meditation, read the Daily Stoic book, and now I'm just sitting down, I'm having some iced coffee, and I made a smoothie bowl with a lot of spirulina in it, that's why it looks so green, and banana and mango and ginger, and I'm gonna read finish a chapter of this book before I get to work. I'm just um, popping in here to let you know that there's been a new summer collection at the Guild and Koikin um, Designs and I'm so so excited about it and I finally received the pieces so that's why I also know I have short hair. Um, this was filmed a little bit after this week but I really wanted to include it in this vlog. Um, because now the pieces are launched and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. Um, I'm wearing some of them right now. Um, yeah, let me show you. Okay, so right here I'm wearing the gray t-shirt. We made the t-shirt available in multiple colors. Um, let me show you. So the gray one has a slightly thicker material than the other ones, uh, which I think you can see on camera. It's like almost like a sweatshirt fabric, very stretchy, um, but like keeps a really nice shape and like fit to it. I really love it, very soft. Um, we have it in white as well. We have it in a sage gray that's like, has some 
very, very tiny lines. That was one of the most asked for colors when we made the, when we asked you guys for feedback. And then we also made it in navy because that was also one of the main colors. And since there was some other navy in the collection, it made sense to have a navy t-shirt because it would fit really well with the other pieces. That's the kind of the goal of it. Um, so yeah, that's the t-shirts. The shorts are like this really beautiful material. Um, very nice. It just falls really nicely. It's very lightweight, not see-through at all. I'm wearing a size S, which is a bit too big for me, so I'm wearing a belt with it, um, just for the waist. But very nice, big pockets. Just like really nice beige, but it's like a, a taupe beige. It's not like a very camel beige. And then, another thing that, well this is actually, this is not new, this we've had for a while already, um, but I only had the navy one, so I wanted to show you what the beige cardigan looks like. So yeah, the cardigan is available in like this beige cream color as well, which I love, I think it, it goes for summer so well. And then we came with a lot of new beautiful dresses for the summer. I'm so happy with them. We made one um, design with a lot of different colors and patterns available. And then we made the Alba dress, which is the white one. And this one has a slightly more fitted design. Very cute and adorable. I'll put a link down in the description if you guys are interested in some pieces or if you just want to check it out, check the collection and see if there's anything you like. I want to say a big thank you to, for all your support. You guys have been amazing. Like it's, you've, wow, it's just blowed my mind and I'm so happy with all the pieces. So thank you so much for those of you who've placed order already. Uh, we have very limited stocks as well because we produce sustainably and in small quantities and with a very small team. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, so a link will be put down below of the video in the description if any of you guys have interest in checking the collection out. What a day, uh, what a week. It's been like a lot of lake dips and just also like a lot of admin things that I've had to get figured out. I took the time to do some chores at home. There's a dog against the door. Um, I wanted to mention something to you, um, which is my bed sheets. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you may have heard of this brand before, uh, but it's one that I've been like sleeping in for a while now, and I can highly recommend it if you're moving soon or if you just got into a new place or if you're in need of new um, bed linens it is like a huge amount of fabric when you think about it and it's also an investment and I find it valuable to invest in sustainably made sheets and like with sustainable materials um, and it's also something that's going to be on your skin while you sleep which is many hours every day um, so you don't want it, that to be filled with chemicals and whatnot. So these sheets are just some simple white sheets and they're from a brand called Undercover Living. Let me try it. Oh, there. There you go. And they're just so like fresh, you know, that's like crunchy fresh feel, but not like crunchy hard, like crunchy soft, or, like fresh soft. Very, very nice. This is the can uh, tensile and cotton one in white, and I love it. It's awesome. I'll put the link down in the description. And now let's move on to what I wanted to share about, which is some books. So I wanted to give you like a little bit of a book update because I've been reading quite a bit, and well, not that much. I've just been reading things that take a while to be read. Let's put it that way. Um, or at the moment take me a while to be read. And I ordered a few books as well, so I wanted to share a few. My morning book is The Daily Stoic, which I got recently and I started reading. I read a page daily. Um, I would, I don't know, I haven't read the beginning of the book, but I would maybe recommend you get this at the beginning of the year, 
So you start with January 1st and it goes in the order. The first quarter is about the discipline of perception, then the discipline of action, discipline of will. Yeah, exactly. So there's three disciplines, perception, action, and will. And I'm in the one of action and July is about duty. Oh, sorry, the dog is hunting flies. Um, so, I don't know, there's some things that I resonate with, others that I really don't that much. Then, yesterday at the lake, I was really over, like, reading big, intense books. Um, because I've been reading, like, a lot of spirituality and self-awareness books lately, and they're just, like, a lot. Um, so, yesterday, I just wanted, like, a book that I could get through pretty quickly and, you know, feel like I'm moving through a book pretty fast. So I read this poetry book, which is Make Milk and Honey by Ruby Carr. It's, I mean, you've probably heard about that book. It got like so famous. I read the yellow one, which is The Sun and the Flowers or something like that, uh, at the beginning of the year and enjoyed it. So I read this one now. I think I preferred the other one. I guess it just resonated. There were more things in that book that resonated with me as opposed to this one, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really, I don't want to rate it because I don't know anything about poetry, poetry books and it's not my favorite book, but it's a beautiful coffee table book. So yeah, or if you want to get into reading, maybe that would be great. So that's the book that I finished, A New Earth. Um, absolutely loved it. Intense, but beautiful and so needed and Oh my god, like, I would recommend this book to anyone who's ready to, like, dig deeper within themselves and do some inner work. Um, I'm gonna reread it for sure. Uh, it's had such a huge impact on me, and I feel like I got so much insight through this book. So, yeah, it's just, it's whole highlighted, because I love it so much. And right now, I'm reading Sapiens. Um, which took a little, like I'm not, I couldn't say like I'm really into it yet, but I, yeah, the first 50 pages were a bit like, okay, let's get into that sort of book, and I don't really usually read that sort of book, so I guess, yeah, we'll see, but it's inter it's definitely interesting, and, uh, a lot, like, but there's a lot of information um, so yeah, it's a book that you could really like read slowly and gather as much information as you could, but it's also a book that you could like kind of like pass through at least for the, the first time you read it and just have an overview. Um, yeah, some things stick with me more than others, but I'm only in the beginning of it. And then I ordered a couple books, um, other bu books that arrived. One of them is the Body Keeps the Score. It's about mind, brain, and body in the transformation of trauma. So it's basically about how the body stores like emotional trauma from our past and how we can heal it. So yeah, it looks like a pretty intense book, uh, but it's a topic that I'm extremely interested in. And it looks like it has some really interesting chapters. The cover is beautiful as well. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I haven't read it yet, it has great reviews, we'll see. And then another book that I got is How to Do the Work by Dr. Nicole LaPera, the holistic psychologist, and recognize your patterns, heal from your past, and create yourself. Um, this sounds like a way more digestible like, version of a self-help book than like this one where it, where it goes into like details about the body and trauma this is more about like i don't know there's probably like stuff about trauma healing i haven't really looked into it much but that's probably the one i'm most interested and excited to read so that will be my next book after sapiens probably and then to change it up as well this is not a book that i bought but i got it a while ago um it's a house in the sky by amanda linda and it's a memoir of a kidnapping. Uh, a girl that went to Somalia and got kidnapped and was held in captivity for a year. And um, 
yeah, basically how she like survived through it and how she escaped it pretty much. And yeah, it's a real story. Um, so I'm excited to read also something like that maybe later this summer. It's Friday, this week has flown by. Honestly, it's been a bit, not a blur. I feel like there's been so much and at the same time, like so little focus. And I have been feeling like really um, off the past couple days and that's why I haven't picked up the camera very much. Um, my sleeping quality has not been great this week. Uh, I haven't prioritized that and that's something that I'm working towards too and yeah I don't know I just feel like there's I've never felt it before like I was never really in tune with it although like it was definitely impacting me before but like how much the summer has a certain energy and then the fall and winter have another energy like I would always really enjoy the summer because there would be so much going on and um yeah just good weather and always going out on adventures and being in nature um but i also realized how much agitation and how much distraction and just like how much louder and exhausting the summer can be i feel extremely grateful for where i live and being really close to the lake and the mountains um but it, it can get really crowded in the summer and I'm realizing how much that's affecting my own energy as well. Um, so it's been really interesting to notice that and it's felt kind of difficult for me lately to just find my own balance within it all. And yeah, I guess I was like, my routine was also all over the place. And yeah, it was just, there was just a lot of things that I was thinking of and that I had to think of um regarding work regarding um this fall what we're going to be doing in the fall which i'm going to talk in um a later vlog yeah i was just so much in my head and i wasn't able to like just really sit down and be present today was it's still the week and usually in the week i have like a more like strict schedule and that's the way i've been living my life since i moved in this apartment and i'm realizing how how much stress it's putting on myself like and i'm the one putting all that stress on myself it doesn't need to be that way i'm just operating from 
um, my past routines and habits and I can see how much that's not benefiting me anymore. So yesterday I took the, de the conscious decision to not put an alarm this morning. I mean, I want to be in a place where I'm going, I'm going to bed at a very decent time lately. And I will do um, a video about my evening routine because that has been something that's changed quite a bit and um, that you guys have been requesting for. So that's the next video I want to work on. And I really do enjoy like waking up at 5 a.m. and you know, having all this extra time for myself in the day. But to be honest, lately, like, it's just been really difficult. Like, I, I've just not put an alarm at five because even at six, I feel tired when I wake up. I don't know, I think that I just need to be in a place where there isn't like so much of a structure and things need to flow more because all of <laughs> what I've been operating from has just been like, this masculine energy that needs to control everything and like have everything structured. So yeah, basically long story short, what I wanted to say is that this morning I really took the time to um, not put an alarm, wake up whenever I, I was ready to wake up, which was around seven, which is totally um, early still. I allowed things to flow and I didn't allow things that weren't planned to upset me to a point where I would feel stuck and in a rut again like I've been feeling most of the week so one thing that really helps me to get out of that mood there's multiple things but what I did the other day let me show you is that I journaled these journals are from Dang Bat Notebooks they're linked in the description they're the ones I use all the time also for my bullet journal they're really awesome, super resistant. Like they, they look like this, like the cover is so great. It doesn't ever break and it just has such high quality and the pieces are beautiful. Anyways, what I wanted to share is that basically I, would, I like wrote down what my ideal night routine and morning routine would be. And I'm realizing like, instead of timing it with like hours, I mean, yes, of course I'd like to be in bed by a certain time, but like, have it more free flowing and so I had like my ideal evening and morning routine written down so that I don't get distracted from them and also like my phone routine of being on my phone hope um like only checking my phone like especially Instagram only twice a day and then if I have messages and stuff like I'll check but I won't reply unless it's like someone I have to meet up with and then also always keep my phone like in the office as much as I can and not take it anywhere else in the apartment unless it's for, to take photos, for example. And then um, I also wrote an intention of how much time I want to dedicate each day to um, certain activities that are important to me. So um, I'd like to, like ideally I'd like to dedicate two hours a day for reading and then about one hour of physical activity and movement so that includes as well like walks and stuff, uh, so light movements and then one hour of mindfulness and reflection which is meditation, journaling, breath work. That already like helps me like narrow down my thoughts into okay what's really important for me right now and put it on paper and that already helps gaining a little bit of mental clarity and then another thing that really helped me today was just to put on music and do some yoga poses and dance and just like let it out because i felt oftentimes when i feel like stuck and you've probably felt stuck before um i guess we all do it's a human thing and that's also how we grow and evolve it's not just stuck like in what we can see like outside, but it's also in our body and it's not just physically in our body, but the emotions and everything that's in there, the energy is stored there and blocked as well. So movement will help release it or at least like loosen it a bit so it can be easily, more easily released. Um, I realized late, lately that I've had, I have a lot of, um, issues with trust when it comes to trusting others but in reality this just shows how little i trust myself 
and in order for me to trust myself, I need to get to know myself better. And in order to get to know myself better, I need to get have more space and spend more time by myself uh, with no distractions. change of scenery. Um, I'm in the mountains and I'm on a hike right now and it's so beautiful. Um, I'm just coming outside of the forest now and the forest was just so pretty. And look what I found. I found some mushrooms which we call chanterelle in French. Um, I don't know what's the English name for it. Yeah, I'm on a solo hike. It's very pretty. Um, it's like, oh, the lighting is really pretty now. Um, it's like a cloudy, it's raining right now actually. Very mild rain. But it's a very, um, like changing weather. Um, but yeah, it's just so pretty to go on a hike by myself and spend a little bit of time alone and in nature. Um, it's very beautiful and it feels great to recenter. Um, I just wanted to check in to end the vlog. This week has really been all over the place and it's, um, if you felt it through the vlog, I think it was very like, representative of what my week actually was like. It was really, really, um, unsettling and yeah, I just didn't feel grounded this week and hopefully next week I will be in a much better space and um, yeah, I'm learning and I think that we often, we sometimes have to go through these spaces where we're not sure of what works best for us um, in order to find a better routine next time or in the future, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, this week's vlog anyways, and I'll see you next week. Bye, have a lovely Sunday.